सो फ्रेंड्स आई एम प्रोफेसर गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ वेटनरी गायनेकोलॉजी एंड ऑस्टेटिक्स कॉलेज ऑफ वेटनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेज राजस्थान यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ वेटनरी एंड एनिमल साइंसेज बीकानेर राजस्थान इंडिया नाउ टुडे इन आवर लेक्चर आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एनिमल बर्थ कंट्रोल now uh, first of all uh, i would like to point out why birth control for dogs only to control the population to prevent transmission of disease to eliminate behavior problems to prevent pseudo pregnancy these are some of the clinical uh, indications for birth control in the dogs now the municipality is under pressure from certain sectors of the community who see the dogs as a nuisance and are afraid of them dogs also transmit a dreadly disease the rabies there are non surgical methods for controlling the reproduction in dogs and cats say synthetic progestins androgens and receptor blockers gnrh agonists and antagonists zinc gluconate solution nutrasol calcium chloride administered intratesticular to male dogs vinyl cyclohexene dipoxide it works by upregulating cellular and molecular processes of apoptosis thereby accelerating the natural process of follicular atresia in female dogs then retinoic acid receptor antagonists are compounds believed to inhibit biosynthesis of testicular retinoic acid resulting in reduced spermatogenesis now these in this table uh, i have shown some of the progestins uh, the mesosterol acetate hydroxy progesterone caproate midroxy progesterone acetate didrogestron progesterone these are some of the progestins then estrogens androgens and the most popularly used androgen is mebularon the check drops which is available in some countries uh, which can be administered orally then anti estrogens anti prolactins uh, and anti androgens um, they have different uses uh, including finasteride which is used for the therapy of benign prostatic hyperplasia in male dogs the animal birth control dogs rules were notified in 2001 in india and it says what are street dogs most free roaming dogs belong to an ancient canine race known as the paria dog dogs have existed all over asia and africa ever since humans started living in settlements they were the first animals to be domesticated they are and have always been scavengers in india the breed has existed for perhaps 14000 years or more the word stray is used for street dogs in the context of the animal not being an owned dog or a pet dog in countries such as india where exposed garbage in slums encourage the existence of street dogs killing or removing them has proved ineffective in controlling rabies or the dog population and moreover there are ethical grounds wherein dogs should not be killed the animal birth control program or the abc program it uh, mentions that street dogs should be sterilized and put back in the same territory since territories are not left vacant new dogs will not enter that territory mating and breeding also cease with no mating and no puppies street dog fights and accidental bites to humans becomes less the street dogs are immunized and hence they cannot spread rabies over the time street dogs die a natural death and their numbers numbers reduce dramatically as a result the street dog population becomes stable non breeding more friendly and rabies free with a gradual decrease in numbers over the time now there are certain rules of catching and performing the ovarian hysterectomies in the street dogs the catching techniques include the street dog catching staff must be vaccinated against rabies 
the following four methods are acceptable for catching street dogs by hand the sack and loop method the use of dog dog catching hoops with nets use of balinese pole net and use of tongs wires and chains to catch street dogs are strictly prohibited since they cause injuries and extreme stress to the animal now these are the do's and don'ts with regard to catching of the street dogs street dogs should be caught and released preferably in the early morning hours to avoid heat stress and to prevent the dog catching vehicle being delayed by traffic jams the street dogs must be released at the point of capture ideally following the gps app which is widely available in india the street dogs that are caught should not be under 6 months of age old street dogs and visibly pregnant bitches should not be caught street dogs with severe mange or scabies or those with signs of possible infectious diseases should not be caught along with the healthy street dogs females that are lactating should not be caught use a periphery to center approach of catching the street dogs there are regulations even for the transport of the stray dogs to the abc facility vehicle should not be such that it can go to small lanes it can't go to small lanes the street dog should be should also be transported in a manner that they do not fight with each other the vehicle must be adequately ventilated the vehicle must be clean watered and dis disinfected on a daily basis so this is one of the vehicle which is used for catching the street dogs and uh, one can see it is it is, has got uh, space for air to enter inside and the dog does not uh, have any difficulty then the basic infrastructure for the abc programs before an abc program can be carried out care must be taken to ensure that minimum standards of housing feeding hygiene and veterinary care are provided for the street dogs the preparation room and operation theater must be well equipped with necessary equip instruments equipments and medicines to adequately handle the volume of work as well as to ensure that surgery carried out on the dogs is free of any untoward complications care must also be taken to ensure that adequate number of personnel are available on duty to run the abc program efficiently there must be provision of doctors for a doctors room pre operative preparation room post operative recovery room kitchen medicine stock room at, uh, the attendant quarters suitable kennels quarantine facility with a separate uh, house for uh, post recovery of the dogs this is one of the abc facility it is having all the infrastructure the basic requirements for sterilization of the dogs and uh, the surgeons they are operating the dogs and one person is recording what uh, the uh, details of the operative procedures abc implementing agency that undertakes 200 abc surgeries and 200 anti rabies vaccinations per month the following personnel should be employed one veterinary surgeon who can do the ft full time equivalent work of 40 hours per week one veterinary surgical assistant paravet veterinary nurse or an experienced veterinary assistant at least two do dog handlers or attendants who will attend to the catching transportation feeding exercise and post operative care of the dogs then uh, there are surgical approaches uh, for uh, the uh, reducing the dog numbers and gonadectomy refers to the surgical removal of the male or female gonads testes or ovaries ovarian hysterectomy refers to the surgical removal of the ovaries and the uterus now there had been plenty of debates on pediatric neutering the sterilizing puppies and kittens aged over 6 weeks and weighing more than 2 pounds the shelters and breeders can ensure the inability of those animals to be accidentally or in intentionally bred by new owners own pets best may best be served by scheduling surgery at 4 months of age or older to allow time for the development of immunity through vaccination these are the pros and cons of pediatric uh, neutering for the female dog the pros are completely effective sterilant decrease incidence of mammary neoplasia decrease incidence of reproductive tract disease 
decreased incidence of reproductive behaviors, eliminates the risk of difficult births. The cons are there may be surgical complications, there may be increased incidence of urinary incontinence, there may be increased incidence of hematologic bone and bladder tumors, there may be increased disposition to knee injury, obesity may be a resultant uh, difficulty and possible breed related decrease lifespan. For the male dog, again it's a completely effective sterilant, decreases incidence of reproductive tract disease, decreases incidence of reproductive behaviors and possible increased lifespan. The cons are or the surgical complications, increased incidence of hematologic bone and prostate tumors, increased predisposition to knee injury and resultant obesity. Now ovarian hysterectomy is uh, one of the preferred method for sterilizing the female dogs and the indications include uh, elective sterilization to prevent objectionable estrus and pregnancy as a therapy for uterine ovarian vaginal and other, other genital pathologies and as elective means for preventing diseases like those of the mammary glands and to prevent hormonal changes that interfere with medication in diseases like diabetes and epilepsy. The customary age for elective spaying of dogs and cats is 6 months. The pre-operative consider considerations include fostering for 24 hours with a complete blood count. The anesthesia used is general anesthesia, maybe uh, inhalation anesthesia if it is available or maybe uh, intravenous anesthesia. The operative procedures include flank or midline laparotomy and a laparoscopic approach is now increasingly being used for uh, elective sterilization of uh, female dogs. The post-operative complications of general surgery include hemorrhage, uterine stump pyometra, estrus following surgery due to remnants of the ovarian tissue, ligation of the ureters leading to hydronephrosis, fistulous tracts, urinary incontinence, body weight gain and unicoid syndrome. Unicoid syndrome means decreased aggression, a decreased interest in work and decreased stamina. So thank you very much. Kindly share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like them. Thank you. Thank you very much.